I love Chris Rich. The Gangster Disciples are a gang originally from Chicago. Now, if you want to get a full breakdown of the history of the GDs from their inception in the late 60s and early 70s to today, then go check out my other video, Gangs of Chicago, the BDs versus the GDs. But it doesn't matter if you haven't seen that because all you need to know is that eventually, GDs made their way from Chicago to New York, in the end falling under the Cho Alliance of Gangs. Something which I explained in detail in my other earlier video, Gangs of New York, Wu versus Chu. But most importantly, the Chu consists of a sizable number of GDs or gangster disciples imported from Chicago. In fact, it seems to be that the Chu are allies of all of the GDs that operate in Brooklyn. Now, the New York GDs are sometimes referred to as the Folks, and they actually have a long history of operating in New York since the 90s. The Folk Nation movement itself was actually started by the GDs founder Larry Hoover whilst he was in jail in Chicago, with the idea to form an allegiance between the leaders of large white, black, and Hispanic gangs to try and control Chicago. Now, funnily enough, the GDs or Folk in New York City were initially allies of the Crips there. So way back in the 90s, the GDs and the Crips were all considered friendly under the banner of Folk Nation before the Wu and Cho gang alliances existed. And for a long period of time, GDs and Crips were cool in the city. In fact, apparently when GDs and Crips ran into each other, they were so cool with each other that they would combine their gang signs together as a show of friendship. With the Crips throwing up the C and the GDs throwing up the pitchfork or rakes, they would combine them to create the eight ball. Thing is though, as older generations of gangsters got locked up or killed, the new hot-headed generation of younger gangbangers would emerge, creating new alliances and traditions whilst trashing old ones. In 2014, the leader of the modern day folk nation in New York, aka the Six Trey Outlaw Gangster Disciples, Devon Rodney, also known as D-Block, was sentenced to 20 years after a RICO case that included attempted murder and robbery conspiracy. Authorities believe the crew is behind four murders, three attempted murders, and a string of assaults and robberies. Officials say one of the gang's victims includes a 10-year-old girl who was shot in the neck. Yes, the indictment stated that a hit on a rival gangster had gone wrong, leading to an innocent 10-year-old girl getting shot in the neck by accident. Now, the Devon Rodney case was in 2014. He was the kingpin of the GDs in New York, and he got put away on those RICO charges. A heavy-hitting co-defendant of his, named Geraldo Eleno, also ended up taking a guilty plea for his role in a 2008 murder. An incident where he shot a child dead for playing in a GD-controlled playground. Nasty stuff. So, Eleno ended up getting 25 years for the murder, and the indictment said that that nine other members of the Folk Nation had been charged. Now, here's where the trap law detective work takes place. According to a Vlad TV interview with 22Gs, in 2014, he also was charged with conspiracy to commit murder, a charge that was eventually dropped. In 2014, you got hit with a conspiracy charge. Yeah. Conspiracy to commit murder in 2014. Yeah. Now, 22Gs was a minor when this went down, so there's no public paperwork existing on this case. But in an old complex interview, it seems to suggest that 22Gs and three others were indicted and identified as members of the Flatbush gang Young Savages, who had apparently been plotting to kill members of the rival gang Only The Fields. And I was actually able to find another article from 2017 which seemed to suggest that this was a group of young GDs with association to kingpin Davon Rodney's Six Tray GDs. And while there's no concrete proof that 22Gs was connected to this original overarching RICO case, or that earlier generation of folk GDs that used to run things around those parts, it's a bit of a coincidence, isn't it? Also, for the record, if it does turn out that 22Gs descended from a group of New York GDs called Six Tray, that will mean that he is quite literally from 63rd. Anyway, with the older generation of GDs locked up behind the wall, this left young GD 22Gs and his homeboys in prime position to fly the flag of the biggest GDs in New York. Now, there's many different names that have been associated with this particular group of GDs, so let me warn you, this might get a little bit confusing. Free the twirlers, free the blickies. Shout out to the Shiggies and the Cho's. Okay, let me break it down for you. With the New York GDs and the Cho gangs, there's a lot of overlap. Just like over on the Wu side of things, you got Crips and Bloods coming together to bang under the Wu Alliance. Over on the Cho, you got crews like the GDs or Folk, as well as the Hood Stars who have historically beefed with the Wave Gang of the Wu, crews that aren't really relevant to this story. You've also got Cho crews like No Love City, who are known to have historically beefed with Bobby Schmurder's GS9 Crips. There's crews like PNV, home to Cho rapper PNVJ, but most importantly, under the GDs is the Twirl Alliance. Now, Envy Kane of the GDs said that Bills Blicky was the originator of the Twirl idea, but he refused to say exactly what it meant. And talk about this, man, what's the difference? You the twirlers. I right, look. Free Bills Blicky for me. SPNB. They're the ones who, for me, originated the whole twirl concept. You get me? Nick Blicky referred to twirling as the tutu spin dance move they created. I be watching all the ops videos. I be seeing them twirling, tutu spinning like. 
That shit is a wave now, I'm telling you. Very cute stuff, but really the Twirl Alliance is a collection of GD banging hoods that are associated with 22Gs and his buddies. We're talking the Shiggies and we're of course talking the Blickies, aka Blicky Gang, who are the main GDs today's story will be focused on. And the core of that crew hail from that same block that Big GD Davon Rodney used to run his empire from back before he was indicted. This block is known as the Field, referring specifically to the Ebbets Field projects in Crown Heights, which is the Blickies turf. And there's numerous other nearby hoods that come under the banner of the Twirl Alliance, including Hawthorne Street, aka H Block, Project Lethers Gardens, the Fennies, Newkirk, and Veer, all hoods in the Twirl Alliance. Where you from and shit for niggas that don't know? You know, most of us know, you know what I mean, for all out of towners and all that. Where you from? What hood you from? Where are you from? I'm Flatbush. No doubt. H Block, Fenny, Fields, Kirk, Veer. Know the family, bro. You feel me? These bros in the building. BB. Shout out to my BB guys. My ZG guys. My TD guys. So the name Blicky Gang is taken from New York slang meaning handgun. Or you might remember Blicky's being popularized by our boy 6 9 who famously said that he's got the Blicky with the stiffy on his hit song Gummo. However, the big difference between these Blickies and the ones that 6 9 was dropping in his lyrics is that when these Blickies write their names down, they X out the letter C in their name, of course, because they hate Crips so goddamn much. While the Crips have got their blue rags and the Bloods have got their reds, the Blickies are coming through on a much more stylish tip, instead choosing to rep black flags and bandanas, something that 22Gs has shouted out on many songs. Now, the Blickies have also appeared in numerous hood vlogs chilling on their block, including one with legendary Chicago hood documentarian Zack TV, rest in peace, which was titled The Blickies, The Most Hated Gang in Brooklyn. Yeah. You ever still right now? You in the You ain't from here, don't come here. Niggas know what's up. We're in the Jacks. We're in the headquarters. We're in the Jacks with the demons. What's your name for the camera, man, for more for that don't know? Niggas that don't know me, my name is Nas Blicky, right? Mm. One of the original Blickies, man? That's a fact. One That's of the a... originals. One of the niggas who started this shit up. My son right here who started this oh, up. Oh, 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 oh. Blicky, right? Yep. Hey! Make drill music. music. We really bro. talk about shit we do. When you say you got 30s and 40s and max, we not lying. That's all we gonna say. If you ain't from around here, don't come here. It's funny, in this vlog they even do a little roll call. Like it's the start of GD class or something, just in case the feds didn't have enough evidence on them. That's that blicky. Blue blicky. Stone blicky. Richie blicky. Sassa blicky. Sassa blicky. Key blicky. Bigger blicky. Sprout blicky. Jew blicky. Out. That's the ghost, you call them ghosts. Okay. okay. However, the main characters for the purpose of this story are 22Gs, Nick Blicky, Nas Blicky, Lou Blicky, and Envy Kane. So, now you know who runs the streets of New York on both sides of the fence, you need to understand exactly why these two groups hate each other. And the insane reality is that the majority of the deadly beef between these two groups has been caused by a simple but powerful three-letter phrase. A phrase so powerful that saying it in the wrong block of New York or even Chicago could get you dually blammed in the face without warning. I'm of course talking about the UK. 